I am going to solve this problem 371. In this problem, it is said that calculate the force and moment reactions at the bolted base O of the overhead traffic signal assembly. So this is the overhead traffic signal assembly and we are asked to find the reactions at this point O, right? And the moment reaction at this point O, right? So it says that each traffic signal has a mass of 36 kg, right? So each traffic signal has a mass of 36 kg. So the weight will be 36 times 9.81 while the mass of the members OC and AC are 50 kg, right? So this is that OC member and this AC member. So both of them has a mass of, sorry, OC has a mass of 50 kg and AC has a mass of 55 kg, right? So we need to find the reactions at this point O. So if I draw the forces, if I draw the weight of this signal right so it will be acting downward at this position right and the magnitude of this will be how much so it will be 36 times 9.81 newtons right and similarly the weight of this signal will also be acting downward at this position right and the weight of this AC member will be acting at this point G. This is here it is given that this is the center of mass of this AC, right? So if if we mention that, so then that weight will be acting at this point G, right? And the magnitude of this weight will be this 55 times 9.81, right? So I will write 55 times 9.81, and this weight and this weight are same, right? So if I write, so then this will be 36 into 9.81 newtons right and similarly the weight of this OC member will act at somewhere at the midpoint of uh, this uh, 7 meter height right so if I represent that so that will be acting somewhere here right so if I represent it so this will be the weight of this OC member Right, so this is that weight and the, this weight is 50 times 9.81 and now is all these weights are acting downward so is a reaction at this point O there will be two forces one force one reaction force will be acting upwards vertically upward at this point O right so let me write so this will be O Y reaction in the direction of y right so if, the, if this is our positive x and this is our positive y and similarly there will be one another reaction in this direction let's say that this reaction is o x this is along x right and similarly all these weights will try to rotate this whole assembly in this direction in the counterclockwise direction so as a reaction at this point O, the, there will be a moment in the clockwise direction, right? So let's say that this is that moment O, this is that reaction moment, right? So now we are asked to find this OX, OY and MO. So if we apply the summation of forces along X axis is equals to zero. So as we can see that only this OX is in the X direction and let's say that this direction is positive right so this means that the ox reaction will be equal to zero since there are no more forces in x direction right similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equal to zero right so then the uh, and if we consider that this is our positive direction right so then this weight is in the negative direction so we will write 36 into 9.81 minus right and similarly this weight is also in the negative direction and it, it has the same magnitude so we can multiply this by 2 right and similarly this weight so this weight is also in the negative direction so we will write minus 55 into 9.81 and similarly this weight right so this weight is minus 50 into 9.81 and this will be plus OY 
equal to 0 right so this oy is in the positive y direction so if we want to find oy so we will take this oy to the other side of equation so this will be equal to minus oy right or if we make it positive so then we will multiply this whole side with minus right so if i solve this so we will get the oy reaction so this comes out to be 1736 newtons right so this is the reaction at point o in the positive y direction right and similarly to apply to find the moment the reaction moment at o so we will apply this equation that the summation of moment at point o equals to zero this is the second condition of equilibrium and let's say that this direction is negative the clockwise direction is negative right so now as we can see that this weight is producing counterclockwise moment at this point O. So we will write 36 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from this point O is this much 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4. So overall it is 10, right? So we will multiply it with 10. And since, since it is producing counterclockwise moment, so we will write plus. Similarly, this weight is also producing counterclockwise moment about O. So we will write plus and 36 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from point O is this much 4 plus 1 5 right so we can combine both of these if we take uh, 36 into 9.81 common so we will write it like this and we will write plus 5 right Similarly, this weight is also producing counterclockwise moment. So I will write plus and this will be 55 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance is 4 from O. So we will write 4, right? And this weight will never produce the moment at point O since the line of action of this force is passing through that point O. And also these two reactions OX and OY will never produce the moment at point O as both of them are passing through this point O right and as we can see that here is a reaction moment so this reaction moment is clockwise moment so we will write we will add up this as well so this will be minus MO and this will be equal to 0 right and if you want to find MO so we will take this minus MO to the other side of equation so it will become positive so we will be left with this so if we solve this so we will get the moment at point O equals to 7 four six zero newton meter and the direction is clockwise right so this is the reaction in the direction of long x this is zero this is a long y and this is the moment at point o right so this is the approximate answer right this comes out the the calculator gives the answer as 7455.6, right? But this is the approximate answer, right? So this is the solution of this problem.